Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. I thought I'd come down here by the river this morning. Uh, in nasty, but not so cold Ohio right now. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the Toyota Tacoma lift, the 3-2 ready lift that I have on my truck. You know, I've mentioned uh, in a couple videos recently um, about a rubbing issue that I've had, and it kind of led to the question for me, you know, was it worth it? Uh, should you lift your truck? What, what should you consider when you lift it? Um, so just a little bit of background, about uh, a month or a month and a half ago or so, I had a 3-2 ready lift put on the truck, and I also changed the uh, OEM wheel and tire setup to uh, some fuel wheels and Nitto Ridge Grappler uh, tires, and they're 295-55 R20s, so they're, they're a pretty meaty tire. And took it away from the shop, and when I did, we had a problem with uh, balance weights sticking to the fuel wheels. I lost the balance weights a couple of times, had to take it back in, uh, have it rebalanced, and finally uh, they came up with a balance weight that would, or a setup rather, that would stick to the fuel wheels. So that was my first uh, issue with the lift. Uh, secondly, man, this is most recently, I had noticed uh, a rubbing kind of issue with the truck. And I couldn't put my finger on it because I looked underneath, I didn't see anywhere where anything was rubbing. Um, but I definitely could, could feel it and I could even hear it. I could hear the rubber rubbing against something from the tire. So I did a video recently where I showed what the issue is. You guys might have seen that. Um, and that is the, the inside of the, the Nitto Ridge Grapplers uh, are rubbing in the front on the uh, upper control arm. And this only happens when you crank that wheel uh, as far to the left or the right as you can. So it, you really have to pretty severely turn the wheel for it to happen. Uh, I will also say that I think that it may also be hitting when I take a severe uh, bump. In other words, if I'm coming out of a parking lot and it's a really severe drop, I think it, uh, it'll also hit at that point, which means you don't have to have the wheel turned much for it to occur then. So, what's the resolution? Well, there's a couple of things I've been considering doing. I could go to wheel spacers, and wheel spacers get a lot of bad press. You know, people talk about the potential of them cracking, uh, leading to a catastrophic failure, of course, um, and even uh, causing damage to the, uh, the bearings in the wheels. Um, I don't know, I don't really have any first-hand experience with them myself, so I can't really, you know, speak as to whether or not uh, either one of those are true. I gotta believe that if you get a, uh, a good quality wheel spacer, uh, that you're not gonna have the cracking issue but the bearing problem is probably going to be uh, prevalent no matter what you do, I would think. So, that's my first option, and probably the least uh, expensive is some sort of a spacer. And the reason to do that, obviously, is to move that tire, the tires, both sides, out away from that control arm so that they don't contact anymore in severe uh, situations. Uh, the other is uh, probably putting some different... Uh, aftermarket control arm on, uh, something that would lead to more clearance under there and, uh, and not have a, a problem with that rubbing. There is a third option which I wouldn't consider and that is changing out the wheels uh, themselves. Not really interested in that. I'm not looking to spend uh, double the money uh, to go to some other wheel to, to alleviate that problem. So it, it begs the question then, is it worth it? Should you do a lift? Well, you know, there are a few things to consider, obviously. I did the lift because I like the aesthetics of it. I'm not a big off-roader, so I didn't need the clearance. I just like the way the truck looks. I think both the, the, the uh, Tacoma and the Tundra uh, need to be lifted in order to, get, uh, in, in order to get that look. It just looks cool. I love it. But... Uh, if you are a, you know, a pretty heavy off-roader, then it makes sense for you as well because obviously you want to get the truck higher up in the air so you can get more clearance you know, when you're going through ruts and bumps and uh, anything severe in the mud. Uh, the other thing uh, 
are you willing to deal with the potential issues that might come up? You know, when I did this, I, I knew that there could be problems. Um, it's not really surprising to me. Uh, so I was aware and prepared if there were. Um, but you have to be willing to, you have to have patience, I guess. You got to be willing to work with it. You have to be willing to work with the shop. Uh, and speaking with the shop, or about the shop, rather, you know, some people have said, well, you know, the shop should have been aware of that. They should have told you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, maybe. I don't know that I disagree with that. However, I really doubt that the shop had to turn the wheels uh, severely enough when they pulled the truck out after they were done with the lift. They probably were unaware uh, that there would be any issue. All I think they were looking at was what kind of clearance is there now that we're done and uh, looked like it was fine, so there, there really shouldn't be any problem. Still though, they probably, uh, they probably should be aware. And I don't know why really they wouldn't tell you something like that. I mean, it's obviously more money for them if they do you know, let you know that you have to change out either the control arms or add spacers or maybe go with a different wheel tire setup. I don't know why there's any, any benefit in them not telling you if they indeed were aware. Um, so you have to have patience, you have to be able, you have to be willing to accept that there may be some issues afterwards that you're going to have to deal with. Um, cutting. There is going to be some sort of a cutting depending on what you do. I would think it, it kind of goes hand in hand that if you're going to lift a vehicle, you're going to change the wheel and tire setup. That means you're going to have taller, wider wheels. So you're going to run into issues with the space around them, of course. Now in my truck, the only thing uh, that I was fully aware of uh, when I did it was that that front uh, plastic piece, you know that kind of air dam or mud guard, whatever you want to call it, that goes across the front of the truck right under the bumper had to be trimmed. Now that had to be trimmed on each side in the front of the tire because the way it was set up uh, originally is it kind of came straight down and when you turn the tire because they're bigger and wider it would hit that edge. So they had to be angled to, uh, to match that fender. However, I do think it actually looks much better that way. I think it probably looks better and more OEM the way that it is now. I did have them trimmed, of course. It gives you a nice angle and follows that contour or angle of the fender itself. And I think it looks fantastic the way it is. So you have to be prepared to deal with that. That's really a pretty minor thing. A lot of people even take that piece off, um, whether they lift the truck or not. Uh, I am going to try that myself, I think, just because I want to see what it looks like uh, from an aesthetic standpoint. Nothing to do with the lift or anything, really. Also, if you go bigger tires and wheels, you might run into some rubbing inside uh, that fender well, that uh, plastic piece uh, that's inside of your fender. That may, be, or may need to be trimmed as well. You may also have to do a little bit of metal work, depending on how big of a tire you decide to go with. I mean, come on, let's face it, there's only so much room inside there. And of course, lastly, the control arms, uh, something I wasn't really aware of. You're going to have to deal with that, uh, unless you just never turn the wheel as far as it'll go left or right or do any off-roading. I probably could leave it alone in that case, but I like things to be as perfect as they can be, as close to uh, the way things are supposed to work as you can get them. So. There's no way I'm going to leave that alone. It is indeed going to have to be addressed. So you kind of have to consider those things. Uh, if you're going to lift the truck, do you want to deal with those issues? Are you willing to spend the extra money when they come up? There is going to be labor, of course, to change out those control arms in my case, or even the wheel spacers themselves. Was it worth it? Uh, absolutely for me. Uh, I've mentioned before, I've always wanted a lifted truck. I love the look of a lifted truck. I think it just makes the truck look the way that it should. Tough, meaner look, I think. So definitely worth it for me. Uh, I was aware that there could be some issues going in, so not specifically what, uh, but some issues going in and I'm willing to deal with them and spend the hours probably at the shop while they fix the problem. Um, one final thing that uh, that I'll mention is the ride quality. You know, a lot of people say, well, if you go with this lift or that lift, you'll it'll be OEM. Uh, I disagree. You know, when you change the setup of the truck, it is not going to feel like it felt when you drove it off the lot. 
just changing tires alone, don't lift the truck, just change tires alone with something more aggressive and bigger, deeper tread, and you're gonna have a different ride. So you also have to be willing to accept that. Again, for me, uh, not a problem. I'm perfectly happy with it. Just have to uh, do one more thing to make it uh, exactly right. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Are you guys willing to uh, put in the extra time and money uh, to make a lifted truck the way that it should be? Please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.